Nowadays, nothing really is Size Only one of me and nobody like me Phone ringing and I tell him it's Ice. I got wifey on, bling and she Ice. Freeze, Freeze. Photo. photo, please, please. No photos, no, no. Jeez. Jeez. no, no. Your girl Kiera Renee and I'm back with another video and today is a vlog welcome back um I've been gone for quite a while and when I say quite a while it's been almost you know a month two months two months I'm gonna just say I've been gone for two months I haven't really been posting like I've wanted to um life that's what i will say i will say life has been going on i just got my braids done again so don't want to confuse anybody these aren't the same braids i just got them done um i actually do plan on cutting them they're these long locks um i do plan on cutting them probably like under my boob i think that'd be cute like just yeah but i really love like i honestly fell in love with the dreads and i didn't think i was gonna fall in love with dreads but now i love them and i don't know if it's because it's just so easy i can get up and go i look cute all the time don't gotta deal with no weave no hair no wigs no making sure things blend none of that none of that hair is growing and thriving under here um all that good stuff so no I do not miss hair at all, but I think that's really the reason I like these dreads. I've been trying to, you know, style them, you know, look cute, but it still doesn't give me that same, you know, oomph. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's always been my problem. I used to wear braids in middle school, I think it was. In middle school, I always used to have braids because my mama didn't want to do my hair, so that's what it was. And I ended up hating them. So from high school on, I just always wore sewings and stuff, college sewings and stuff. So now it's like, wow, no wonder people wear these. Nah. <laughs> but that's literally how I feel. So I'm a dreadhead now, I guess, or any type of, you know, protective braided style. I've been testing them out and I've been doing them. So yeah. But. I have been on a little break. That's what I was here talking to you, you know, sidetracked. I've been on a little break and I don't know, I miss you guys. Like, I just feel like life is going on. I'm really trying to work on my work life balance. Literally, I'm at work right now. I'm taking a little break, but it's been hard. I will say that I haven't really felt like I have time to do anything outside of work, but I also feel like that's just because by the time I get off, I'm so tired. And that's the real struggle, being tired and being like, here, get up and film, here, get up and do this. And then it's also like, by the time I get off, it's dark outside. I cannot film and do my hair and my makeup and take pictures like I want to. And it's dark outside so you know time management so um i'm going to be giving you guys content that's what this video is might be around here is back basically i'm back from my break i have to tell you guys so y'all can hold me accountable the people who do watch me i love you guys hey y'all i'm officially off of work um Oh, I know what a day is dark outside, as I said. Um, I am about to work out, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to do one of these Chloe Ting workouts. All right, so as I said, I'm about to do one of those Chloe Ting workouts. Um, this is what I actually wore to work today it's just shorts, crop top, but um. I'm about to use my hot gel and my wrap and my sweatband. <sighs> I do not feel like working out, but I'm going to. So this is the hot gel that I've been using. It's called green tea hot gel. It's like, it gets pretty hot. I will say that it does get pretty hot. Um, 
easy swimming hot gel. And then this is my, ugh, this is my sweatband. I've had this sweatband for years, literally. And it's literally a Skechers sports sweatband. I got mine from Ross back when I worked there for like $5. So this is actually what I used to wear to work because I have back problems and walking around all day and stuff used to do a lot of pain to my back. So this really used to just help me with work. So I'm gonna put on my hot gel and then I like to wrap with this stuff. And then, uh, y'all just don't want me to be great, do you? Anyway, so I'm going to wrap my, wrap my body, put, put on the hot gel, wrap my body, and then um, put this on. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, y'all, so I'm about to work out. I got on my waist thing, and I usually work out in a sports bra and shorts. That's what we used to work out in. Probably not gonna stop. I feel like, personally, if you work out in a sports bra and shorts, especially if you're in front of a mirror and things like that, you're seeing yourself, you're seeing your progress. And if you don't like something, it's like, dang, I have to get rid of this. It just pushes you to go harder, even though you're already dying. So that's a tip for the ladies who are trying to lose weight. That's what I do. It does work. It will motivate you. <laughs> Definitely. So I am trying to pick something to um, work out to now. I like Chloe Ting. This is her channel. Um, I was doing her um two week shred and i did see results so now i'm doing like a more modified you know workout so i'm going to do two videos i guess i'll do an ab and then like a total body video so um i am going to do her do this every day to lose weight video which is right here and then might as well also do get abs in two weeks. So I'll do both of these videos today as my workout. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, y'all, I'm done with the workout. And this thing was sliding around the whole time, literally. It's wet. Like this thing is like wet, ew. But y'all see that? Okay, I'm trying to get rid of these sides, but yeah, so I'm about to take a shower. I feel dirty. I'm about to take a shower. I'll come back when I'm doing something, and I'm going to show y'all how I cut my hair because I am cutting this today. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm back. I cut it. I don't know why it doesn't look even right now, but it's even. Hold on, let me. I'm gonna cut a couple pieces, but my hair is cut. Yay! Finally, about time. I feel like it feels so weird that it's short now. Like it is so weird feeling it like this short. Okay, so this is how it looks now. This is definitely way better. It's cut. So yeah, these are the braids. It does feel weird that it's short now. So, something to get used to, something different. I already had the long, long, long threads already, so I needed to switch up. And I really wore them long for two weeks, and I was supposed to cut these when I got them done. So, yeah. Um, this is the next day, by the way. 
I know y'all are wondering that. I did go shopping the other day, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I went to the beauty supply store here. Finally went. It was huge. It was huge. It was it was just too much. Like the next time I go in there, I have to show y'all. It was like a Walmart in there. And I got the goods. Ended up spending like $50. But I needed to re-up on some things, so yeah. So to start off, I got this um, shampoo and conditioner set. This is what it looks like. It is the anti-breakage keratin oil shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I just needed a shampoo and conditioner, and I definitely need anti-breakage. So yeah. Then I got crack. This is my crack, hair crack. Um, hair mayonnaise, this is what I use to deep condition my hair to help my hair grow. And I usually do it every two weeks, but to have braids, I, not, I don't think I'm gonna do this. So this will be in for a long time after I take these out. Like probably a day I'll let this sit in my hair. So I got two because I go through those. I always do that. I got some more Eco Styler gel because I ran out. Um, and then I got some edge controls because uh, that edge booster, I wish I didn't throw it away. It like made this weird texture and it's just been sitting in my door. So I hated it. It didn't work on my hair at all. Um, the ebon purple and black thing, this one doesn't do anything for my edges. Um, like it'll, it's a good consistency, but it turns into crease. Um, this one, I have this one already. This one's a hit or miss for me. So when I wear it, some days look like my hair will be slick, slick, put together, tight, all that stuff. But Sometimes it just won't work. I don't know why. So I re-got it because it works more times than when it doesn't. I love, um, actually I don't love this one. I was looking at this one when I said that one. I love this one. This is the Sweetie um, Edge Control. And I had to buy another one. Like, hold on, let me get it. Okay, like this one's about gone. I tried this out last summer. So I had to get another one. This one is actually really good. Um, it lasts longer than most edge controls, but in summer, my hair did shrivel up and it was gone. Summer is a different beast. So this is good for right now, winter and stuff like that. It's really good. And it's better than other ones. Like it lasts a little bit better. But this is the one that I'm trying. So I've never tried this one before. This is what it looks like. I like the Mori's Edge Wax. I use it to lay my hair after I put on a gel or something. And that's, um, hold on. So I use this Mori's Edge Wax to seal my edges over gel. So like if I use my Eco Styler Gel or my Gossipy Glue um, Gel or my Gorilla Snot. If I do my Gorilla Snot and this together, power, my edges aren't going anywhere. So I wanted to try their edge control and see how it was. So we gonna try it out. Um, let's see what else I got. I got some hair glue. Just because I don't think I have any, so I just wanted to re up. I got this Ebon heat protectant spray. I needed a new heat protectant. And I got, um, I got two of these little eyebrow razors things. I plan on shaving my face because um, a lot of people recommend it. Like, if you're getting a lot of like spotty acne, it might. Why isn't this? I think that's it so i got two of these my bad so um they said that if you have like um random acne marks it might be because sorry about that they said that it might be because your skin isn't um is collecting too much bacteria so shaving it so it has nothing to grab onto and then this i love this beauty supply lip gloss tangela put me under this this is like what she loves so I got that and then I also got this toner so this is all that I got from the hair store I got some old stuff y'all let me put this up though 
All right, so now that that stuff's put away, I can show you the stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. It's still beauty related, so I'm just adding this in here. Um, I got some makeup wipes. I don't have any in this bathroom, so I got the Garnier Skin Active Purifying Oil-Free Cleansing Towelettes. Got those, they were on sale, two bucks, so couldn't pass up on those. Um, then I got this cute little um, spa headband, and it matches my um, towel wrap, so I got that. Um, I got this Clinique Liquid Facial Soap for oily skin. So I'm going to try this out. This is going to be my new um, skincare or added to my new skincare routine. So I ordered some stuff online from Ulta. So that stuff should be coming the next week or so. So for now, I'm just going to use this cleanser and the rose oil I had got the rose water toner I had got from the hair store. So I'm gonna be using those two for now and probably my Pond's moisturizer. That's what I'll probably use. And then when my new products come, so I will have, um, I got a skin like pill treatment, I got a toner and I got a, um, a facial serum. So I'll show you that stuff when it gets here. Um, and then the last two things that I got from TJ Maxx was from their makeup section. I can't help myself. If you guys are looking for makeup products, you need to try TJ Maxx because they have the good makeup products for cheap. So this is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Soothing with Rosehip and Argan Oil and it's their Pore Perfecting version so yeah i'm gonna let y'all guess in the comments down below how much it was before i tell you so hurry up and put it down there i'll wait okay and it was seven dollars i know for sure this that primer costs way more than that so happy to add this to the collection as well as this milani highlighter it's such a pretty coral color i know it's gonna look good with a lot of blushes this summer so cute three dollars so don't ever buy makeup full price if you don't have to especially if you can find it someplace cheaper so i'm gonna take these to my beauty room and i'm actually about to try to shave my face i'm gonna wash i'm gonna use my new skincare products for the first time so that's what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm probably gonna speed through that i know y'all don't want to hear about that um as for anything else beauty related I can talk oh I am using this to help grow my hair a little bit um while it's in these braids and um this is the Dr. Miracles fillet formula temple innate grow balm so this is what it looks like I have like sparse edges on the side so I'm trying to really grow those out and back and Ever since I um, got braids, I can really tell that my hair is growing. And I've been using this not only on the temple and the nape of my hair, but I just use it to grease my scalp completely. It has a tingling feeling that I absolutely love. Like it's the most amazing tingling feeling. And I love it, especially when I get out the shower. I took my shower last night. So I'm just about to grease my scalp and then I'm going to shave my face and stuff. But... I really like this super strength okay it says it it really works and also look at my pinky you guys i um was taking off my acrylic nails because i had a nail appointment yesterday but i did this to my finger and i had to you can y'all see how terrible it looks like yeah i did that to my finger so i had to cancel my appointment and now it's on friday so let's pray it grows back by friday i need to find my cuticle oil and do all that so sorry y'all i'm gonna speed through and i'm gonna show y'all my process okay
year 2022 Got some years on me, but you gotta respect all the things I've accomplished at 22 Wear a size 7, you don't want no diamonds but some pearls, girl, I've been taking notes If you ever convinced this is ain't what you want, all you really gotta do is let me know Love, 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 is all I'ma give you No other woman, I'ma put up above, above you I just want your trust, trust, trust I'ma take my time with you if you ever wanna give it up, up, up But no need to rush, rush, rush Cause I know that I can give you everything you want and need Just let me know so my time with these other girls can cease My service better than Chick-fil-A's, it's my pleasure to please But I need certainty, so tell me how you feel For the day I got ready, everything like that. Ooh, my eyebrows look extra precise for some reason. But um, I'm at Plato's Closet currently. I just dropped off some clothes, so I'm waiting for them to get done. And then I did something I never did. So I did Walmart pickup. My friend Tandela, she recommended that. Like, just pick all your stuff outline and then go sit in the parking spot and they'll put them in your car. So I'm gonna try that because literally grocery shopping literally takes me about two hours and I usually go on Sundays and I go to Walmart, Food Lion, and Harris Teeter depending on what I need. So I'm gonna go to Walmart then I'm going to go to Food Lion to pick up some um what's it called it's not called garlic ginger to pick up some ginger and cucumbers and maybe some green apples I'm not too sure yet and then um yeah i think that's all i i really have to do that and then hmm, let me think let me think let me think i'm trying to think like what else do i need or want yeah but the, that's really the only two main things that i have to do and then if that doesn't work out i'm gonna leave um and then after I let's see how much money I made I literally just went through my closet last night um I got a bag uh, two bags of stuff and it was just stuff that like I didn't wear I can't fit I'm never going to be able to fit again like type stuff so yeah so I'm going to do that then I'm also going to people are looking at me but I'm also going to go to um oh dang it's Sunday I can't go dang never mind all right so that will be all basically so i'm gonna go pick up this stuff i'm not gonna do grocery haul or anything like that but so i'm about to go in here I'm, i sat in my car so i don't buy anything because don't y'all hate when y'all go to play those closet to like sell your stuff and then like you end up spending the money that they end up giving you yeah i don't want to do that i don't want to do that so I am going to sit in my car. I've been sitting in my car, paying my bills. Tomorrow's the first, I'm trying to get everything ready so I can just start fresh. So yeah, just checking in with y'all. All right, y'all. So they came and put my groceries in my car. Um, all I had to do was, I guess I sat there in like the reserve parking um, that they have for um pick up and then they had they had like a number you call but since i use the walmart app it just made me put in the color of my car and um what spot i was in and then they called me over to the side of the building and then they you know put on my thing so it was quick fast hopefully they got everything right but overall i did have a good experience now i'm at food lion and i am about to go get the last couple things that that I didn't get at Walmart. So I'm about to go through that grocery list and then we about to go home because it, I was very productive in that very little short period of time. So I went to Play-Dohs, got my money. I made $23, they got like six things. And then I ended up buying something. So I got this um, bodysuit. I'm not gonna be able to show you that well, but it's like a deep V bodysuit in this lime color and an extra small and I got and it's like it still has the tags on it and everything from Urban Outfitters and it was ten dollars so I think that was a very good price it's really good material and I know I probably won't have to wear a bra with it so that's like a plus 
you know, summer stuff, body suits, we have to get used to it. It's about to get hot. It's 70 degrees outside. You should see what I'm wearing. Like, I'm hot. Hot. And now I'm spoiled because I don't want to go into food line because Walmart was that easy. So, I will be doing Walmart for now on. And I'm about to get in and get out. So, yeah. All right. Hey, y'all. I have brought up the groceries. I'm about to put them away and then I'm going to start cooking. I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight. I'm sorry, sorry y'all. I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight. I don't really feel like doing too much. Then I'm gonna do some work on a Sunday. I know, annoying. But just to get me ready for the new quarter and the new month. So, I'm gonna pour some wine while I do that. It's five now. So, once I put these up and start on the food, I'm gonna set up my living room as well. So, yeah this is like a sunday prep for the week type video this is my outfit i was hot outside so i already told y'all i don't like wearing bras so i don't have on a bra that's why i wear this it's like 70 degrees on outside i have on these brown leggings and then my weak horses so yeah let me show y'all the shirt i'll put it in one of these bags i'll show y'all the shirt in a second when i find it All right, y'all, I put the food away. Now I'm cooking, I'm cooking spaghetti. Spaghetti is like the simplest meal ever. I like to use the ragu. Um, seasoning. And I'm cutting up some smoked sausage just so I can um, cook, chop up, and then put in there. So, yeah, but I don't like to put too much sausage because I already put a lot of meat into my spaghetti so what i'm about to do is i'm about to spray this like pan into this small pot and dump in my sausage and just let that cook okay let's see okay so i'm literally the queen of multitasking so after i have all of this set up and ready to go i'm going to put together my work spot this is what it looks like i have my um ground beef cooking right here my water is boiling and then i just put in the sausage with that butter spray so quick easy like 10 minutes i'm gonna clean while i cook and i said i was gonna do a little bit of work like i'm not gonna do that much work i'm literally about to create some new email templates you know get the quarter off right and um just plan out my day have an upgraded um touch plan and stuff like just work stuff really like no other way to explain it so i'm about to set up my living room y'all i love my living room like this is what my living room gives on the weekend so relaxed so cool and now it's about to go back into work mode and that is like the most annoying thing but let me show you that shirt before i forget so sorry y'all this is the top it's a it's a bodysuit so um it's an extra small bb yellow little lime color still has the tags and everything so this top was $34 and I got it for 10. So, y'all know, a deal. So, I'm about to put my spaghetti noodles in my water. It looks like it's boiling. Too many noodles i prefer pasta over noodles so i'm gonna let that boil 
I look in the cabinet and I have plenty of noodles. I shouldn't have bought those. But I'm gonna let those simmer. I did put a little bit of salt in there. I'm about to mix up my meat and just let everything cook. Car Chronicles. Car Chronicles. The Car Chronicles. Oh, that's the same word. <laughs> Chronicles. <laughs> I hate when it doesn't work out. It's okay. Car Chronicles. Car. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Car Chronicles. We need a cartoon. That's what I thought. That's what I was headed with. Car Chronicles. Car Wait, I'm saying it wrong now. Car Chronicles. Car Chronicles. This Chronicles. sounds like a chronic. <laughs> like. It sounds like. Uh, I don't know the word. It sounds like I'm trying to sound it out. Yeah. It sounds like Chronicles. I'm reading Chronicles for the first time. Car Chronicles. I started learning ASL again. Mm -hmm. And this language is kind of lit. <sighs> like, it's so I need easy to learn. to learn. Do the song. I forgot it. Oh. I forgot it. <laughs> Wait, did you? Oh my God. Okay, this is gonna be off topic. Well, it's gonna be on topic. But how, did you see that lady on the news who got arrested for fake signing? <laughs> I sure did. She looked so accurate too. Nobody would have known. I if, wish that there was a deaf person in the crowd <laughs> to like look at one of the what? cameras. Like it's the office. You know, in the office when something stupid happens and they look at the camera like. <laughs> I just wish. We're getting only. over us. If only. <sighs> but I'm gonna learn. That's good. I learned how to how to say. Um. I found your cat. Do you want I found your cat. Well, I hate cats. But I wish I would return one. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to say dog. Oh, you don't know how to say dog. Yeah. <laughs> So can you help me find my cat? But opposite. Yeah. Because uh, you got two dogs. I do have two dogs. I don't have no cats. My mommy's allergic. And my mom just hates them. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of them. I'm just not a cat person. My uncle threw a cat on my mom when they were young, so she's terrified. So I feel like it's genetic because I've been oh, trained to like hate cats. I feel like I've been trained to hate cats because my mom hates cats. Let's go back know? to him throwing a cat on your mom. Evil, you know. Is he a bad person? Cut the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it breakfast? Happy breakfast. She put me on to uh, that, the bowl you be making for breakfast food. If you like grits eggs uh, <laughs> it. it's because i'm like very known for combining all of my food yeah i am a food combiner yeah yeah even if it's not combined i will take like a little bit like cheese she peed yeah so that i didn't like grits before then yeah but uh, but grits isn't just like a lot of times you don't just eat grits grits is a combiner i just hate grits like but that's the only time that is tolerable i'm trying to think Was it crawfish? No. No. I haven't had crawfish, but don't put it past me to try it. The first time I had crawfish was with Lauren. What? I can't think. I don't know what it is anymore. Uh, but we still have a couple restaurants to try in Charlotte. The other, what's the meat one? Chima? With you have to go to Chima. Yeah. yeah. I have to try Chima. Have you been to the mountain part? No. Me neither. Okay, so we need to go there. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't tried a lot of restaurants in Charlotte. I still have not been to Crab Du Jour. That's what I'm saying. What? Seriously? You haven't been there? Handle. Remember when we were ordering the lobster? I hadn't been there either. Oh, yeah, and, and, never and had it's it. that, yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot. I have been colored shocked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I haven't tried a lot of places. But I don't eat out like. 
I was raised in a household where we cook. And if we don't cook, we I hate cooking. eat noodles and dinners. I hate cooking. Yeah. I actually cooked this week. Yeah. That's good. I made what pasta. You no. <laughs> and you spread it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat pasta for three days. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm like, I'm making a big old pot of spaghetti. I'm making a big old pot of spaghetti. This is why I don't cook, because now I'm sick of it. I just have noodles. The sauce isn't even combined. Uh, see, I, I always noodles. I always leave sauce in the um, refrigerator, and as the days go on, I add a little bit That's more. That's what I've been doing, but it's like... Yeah, still not mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, I, I love leftovers, though, but that's also how I was raised out. So I can eat leftovers for a while. A meatloaf. Mm, my mama just made meatloaf. My mom makes a good beef loaf. My mom's beef <laughs> is unparalleled. Then we have to we're gonna make have a them meat compete. off. A yeah, meat off. we're right here. I'll be just and we just thinking about eating too. A meat we loaf. like we need to see because my mom would make some good beef loaf. My mom's meat loaf will curb stop your mama's meat loaf. I want to see it happen because I don't believe it. <laughs> I've never seen a woman throw down like mm -hmm. my mama does. I will. Mm, no, my mom can cook. Cause I, so I can't be like. Mm -hmm. Your mom can cook. My mom can cook. I won't even put it past her. But all the shit that I. Oh, I'm saying. <laughs> all, <laughs> just all like. The, or just put it like. You know when um movies dub out and there's mm -hmm. like. And all the stuff. Sad. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. And all the stuff that I like that Tangela raised about that her mom cooks, I always miss. Like the bacon wrapped ham. Mm. I missed that. Was it ham? I it think was, it was a loin. Whatever it was, I missed it. The only one that cooks when I'm around is Renee. Or the neighbors. Ned cook. cook. <laughs> Renee can cook though. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so Renee, when we were younger, she didn't watch anything but the Food Channel. Nothing. <laughs> Not a channel changed. My dad watches the Food Channel. It was on Channel 65 for three years straight. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen her remote. So she probably lost it. That's probably why she started yeah. watching it. <laughs> and then we would be in the kitchen, and from the kitchen you could see the TV. Mm -hmm. And she would still be watching the Food Channel. She she, 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 she grew to like it. She grew well, to like it yeah. for my benefit. Because you can cook. Like, I can cook. She can. I cook. can cook. She I can make cooking. edible foods for her people. You won't complain. Yeah, I can cook. She has her signatures. Definitely. Yeah. Breakfast. Ted, whoa, Ted will throw down on breakfast, and that's the one thing that I can always rely on. Uh, yeah, but you don't even eat breakfast. I don't, but like everybody in my life started eating breakfast, like, and y'all be around me more now, so like I just eat breakfast though. So I actually like it now, and now I've got little corks, like I'll put syrup on my eggs, like I used to when I was younger. The last time you made me breakfast, it was delicious. I got good, right? Like I got, I can do it. Even when she didn't eat breakfast, she would always have breakfast for me. Yeah, I would always make sure I had it. Because she doesn't eat unless it's breakfast. Like, that's how you start your day every day, yeah. no matter what time. Right. So. Like, if I wake up at noon, that's breakfast. That's why I had. That's the. And I also do that because that's the only way to get you there. I already brought groceries. <laughs> I brought the groceries. The groceries are here. <laughs> I just went grocery you shopping. Want sausage? Like that's how. Like if I have to convince her, I'd be like, I just went grocery shopping. I'll go grocery shopping right now. What do you want? What do you need? I'm in the car. Like and then be like, all right. By the time you get here and I get back, we'll both be on time. <laughs> I hate grocery shopping. I love how she cooks. I I have gotten better cooking. Dude. Like I'm really upscaling myself. Yeah. I'm trying to. Cause like I don't like after I feel like being raised and you cook all the time. And then I started going out now, and I'm like, I am wasting money. That's how I feel. So I'm trying to get good at everything I would want to get someplace else. And now I enjoy, like, feeding people, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, when I'm buying meals, and it's just like, I would spend this much if I went by myself. And then it's like, oh, like, let me make pasta for everybody. Let me make something dramatic. Yeah. So that's what i mean like i made jerk chicken rasta pasta rasta pasta last I like that it sun rhymes. on sunday on sunday and it was good rasta pasta. i'm gonna have to insert a little video of it because it was good I... the, before before the pasta the last time i tried to cook it was the wax 
<laughs> that was bad. And it did not work. I made, okay, so a couple of years ago, I made um, sugar wax. And it worked. Like, I did it in one try. And it was awesome. This time, I tried to make sugar wax. I made it twice. <laughs> and she failed. I was on the phone. Failed both times. <laughs> and the wax is still in my fridge because I don't know how to dispose of it. You have to throw that pot away by the time it gets But it's done. a UNCG cup. It's in a mug. It's such oh. a nice mug. I'm just going to melt it. Yeah, you're going to have to. And put oil in it or something. Like that. I'm sure there's a YouTube video for it. Yeah, I just hope it don't set on fire. I can't get the stuff off my stove. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, because mm. sugar burns. Yeah. Like, sugar burns. And it gets so hot. It and does. it holds heat. Yeah. <sighs> but... Other than that, I can make chicken. I, can make I chicken. suck at making fried chicken. I'm just not good at it. No, not fried. I'm talking about like. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about like breasts. Yeah, I can make salmon. I can make titty chicken. All that good can stuff. Can I say that on YouTube? Can I say 